Hey everyone, this is Nick Orlando with Core AI. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to improve NLU performance. Um, so this is an incredible topic. Uh, this is so important. It's crucial. It's a crucial step because after you've put in all of the effort to design, build, and test, and launch your virtual assistant, now you want to make sure that over time it's getting smarter, it's improving, it's delivering a better experience to all of your users. So how do you improve the NLU? Everything starts with the analytics, right? Uh, so the analytics is going to be the starting point. And then the two primary ways that you're going to improve the NLU performance is one, to add or refine the data that you're training your machine learning models on or training the virtual assistant on. The other way is to change the scope of your use cases, of your features or capabilities, right? <clears throat> so let's first start by talking about analytics. Um, as your virtual assistant is being used, um, it's going to be interacting with a variety of different people. And essentially what's gonna happen is you're going to collect all of this data on what's working, what's not working, where can we identify gaps? Where can we identify areas and opportunities for improvement? So your analytics are crucial at this step. A good analytics suite is very, very critical to a successful virtual assistant. Because if you have very strong analytics, then you can understand where the gaps are. You can understand what queries went out of scope, which means that the virtual assistant didn't understand them, and you can also start to identify what are the false positives, right? So if a virtual assistant thinks that it got something right, but it actually misunderstood what the user was saying. Once you've identified the false positives and also the out of scope queries, then what you can do is add that data, add those utterances, those queries back into your training data and retrain your machine learning models so that the virtual assistant is getting smarter over time. Essentially what you wanna do is you wanna minimize those gaps so that it's understanding more and more about how your users are actually interacting with the virtual assistant. So that's the first way that you can improve performance, right? Is by understanding gaps, adding more data, revising the data if you need to uh, for the false positives, you know, maybe it's removing an utterance, maybe it's changing an utterance, and then retraining those models so that it gets smarter with time. The other way that you can improve NLU performance is through changing the scope of your use cases. Um, <clears throat> for example, you may have two different use cases that sound very similar to each other, that people, you know, may speak the same way about both when they're trying to ask a question about something. And this is why the scoping and design phase of your virtual assistant is so, so important. Because what you might be identifying is that whenever people are asking this question a certain way, it's being misclassified into the wrong intent. What this means is that you can then go back and you can update the scope for each of your use cases so that it's narrow enough to be specific to what a user would be asking about, but it's also broad enough to cover all of the range of ways that somebody could ask about that topic. Um, so this is a little bit about how to improve NLU performance over time. Uh, thanks so much for your time, and I look forward to our next, uh, next conversation.